The kettlebell swing is a foundation movement for most kettlebell movements. As we swing the bell to the front and to the back, we need to hinge at the hip and this helps us to get the driving action to move the bell forward. As we bring the bell up, we want to bend the elbow and pull the bell back towards our body, not going above belly button or lower rib cage. The trailing arm helps to swing it back because that helps us to get the inertia to keep the movement going. As we do hand-to-hand -hand swing, it's great for coordination because we're hitting both sides of the body and that way we're able to utilize both sides equally. The kettlebell clean and press. So from the rack position, we want to drive the bell up overhead, moving from A all the way to B. To do this, your little finger needs to face forward, your thumb faces to the back. So as you clean the bell up, remember to pull your elbow in towards your body, spread your fingers and drive your hand through the handle. And as it lands in the rack, now you gently bend the knee and you do a little bump of the chest. Using your leg in the chest, drive that bell up overhead where the arm locks out into what we call fixation. As we drop the bell down, we let the bell drop into our chest. We bend the knees on the way down and once it lands in the chest, now we're going to bring it back into the down swing all the way back into a back swing. Bring it back up into your rack position and now drive the bell up overhead into fixation. The kettlebell snatch. There are seven steps, four on the way up, three on the way down. The four steps on the way up, first one, we start with the swing. And as we're swinging, you want to drive your hips. The second, we do acceleration pull. As we pull the bell back towards us, this helps to bring the bell all the way up over your forehead. And this is where your hand moves through the handle quickly, which is step three. And we move all the way up into fixation, which is step four, where we lock out on the elbow and the knees lock out at the same time. Your thumb is facing back, your little finger is facing forward. Three steps on the way down, we slightly lean back and we bend the elbow, allowing the bell to drop down in front of our body. Then we pull our hand back through the handle, avoiding touching the palm against the handle. Then the fingers hook around the handle and then we drop back down into a back swing, which is the final phase of the movement. The kettlebell squat. We do this with one bell in front of our body, also known as the goblet squat. We hold the bell in front of the chest, keeping our elbows in against our body, our shoulders pulled down and back. Now engage with your core and drop your hips back and down into a nice deep squat, getting your hip below knee level, keeping your spine nice and long. You use your glutes, hamstrings, and your quadriceps to drive back up into standing position. As you do this movement, you can breathe at the top and breathe at the bottom. I hope these tips have helped, and I hope you enjoy training with kettlebells. And do reach out to us if you have any questions on any of the movements that are shown in the video. Thank you very much. Take care.